The title may seem extreme, but I'm dead serious. Ethan Klein from H3H3 is platforming a criminal in order to try and get back at Keem. For those of you who've been watching H3 recently, you might be familiar with the YouTuber that goes by the name of Britbong or Mr. BTFO. He made a video exposing Keemstar for deplatforming him, and Ethan has been actively sharing that video on his social media platform. And normally, I would have no issue with this. Under any other circumstance, if Keemstar is actively trying to deplatform someone, that is important to call out. But with this situation in particular, there's an important citation that Ethan is intentionally neglecting. And that's the fact that Britbong is a known internet menace within the commentary community. What I mean by that is doxer, false flagging, raiding discord servers, even allegedly sending child porn to YouTubers, including underage YouTubers, all to just create create havoc. Imagine the worst internet troll doing whatever they can to create chaos, that is Britbong. And Ethan knows this, as after Ethan initially promoted Britbong's story back in May, many YouTubers came to him to warn him about the situation. Which caused him to lay dormant on the situation for quite a while, until he just decided to say fuck it and platform Britbong yet again in a podcast episode he did on August 27th. The resurgence of the story coming up again on Ethan's podcast after he was explicitly told by many big YouTubers the history behind Britbong then caused Keemstar to make this Twitter video titled Next Time Listen H3H3 Dummy Ethan, um, I am blocked you to make sure you get this message, alright? I'm not going to say this individual's YouTuber name, but everyone should know who I'm talking about. Um, you started promoting this individual that was claiming that I deplatformed him, right? Which is kind of true, all right? And when you started promoting that individual, myself, uh, clown, nerd, everybody, everybody reached out to you and said, don't do that. The guy that you're promoting is a psychopath. The guy that you're promoting uh, sends fake DMC takedowns to YouTubers, uh, spams Twitch streamers with CP, um, you know, just horrible stuff, doxing, swatting, the whole nine yards. Everybody told you not to do this and you kept building it up, right? You thought that, oh, I'm gonna use this against Keemstar and it's gonna be so good. Well, now you've built that guy up, right? And he's jumping in discords, he's, false flagging, doing DMC takedowns, or false DMC takedowns, and he's harassing multiple creators, right? And it's not bad for the creators. It's obviously bad for him because, you know, these crimes are going to be reported to the police, but it's also bad for you. You're responsible for this, you dumb motherfucker, right? We're, we're, we're in a fight, we're in a feud, and I was able to just take all my pride aside and be like, send you that DM that I sent you on Twitter saying, hey, don't build that guy up. Don't, That's that guy's a horrible guy. For the sake of the community, don't do it. And you just wouldn't listen, all right? And that little thing that you had against me that you were gonna use to try to hurt me is now hurting you because you're responsible for all this dumb shit. Man, didn't you go, didn't you have a lawsuit about someone, you know, trying to take down your video or flag your video and you're building up a guy that's, False flagging people with false DMCA takedowns? And then the CP, aren't you a father? You're a father and you're building up a guy that's spreading child porn? Are you fuck? Dude, how many L's can you fucking take? Next time I put all my shit aside and try to warn you, listen, listen. Keemstar then tweets out, it's gotten to the point we have politicians involved, showing a screenshot of Brit Bong saying, I'll definitely be ramping up on flagging Leafy and anybody associated with Keemstar, you flag me and I flag you back. Simple as, enjoy your platforms while you have them. And then C. Antonio for Congress responds, I'm screenshotting every time you make a threat, Brit Bong. Keemstar then links this video of Brit Bong saying he's going to flag Leafy's Twitter. Oh, and by the way, look who I reported on Twitter. Oh, Leafy, what happened, mate? You got banned? Oh, kill yourself, kid. Kill yourself, kid. What's going on, big guy? Did you get banned by any chance, Keto? Help me, help me. Did you get banned, mate? Did you get banned? Did you get banned, buddy? Oh, let's see, you got banned, mate. Oh, crazy. Well, I guess uh, maybe we can ask Keemstar to unban you, bro. Like uh, how Keemstar got my accounts banned multiple times. Anyway. Did he get beamed? 
den här. He didn't get banned, but he got a warning. Huh? Better report him again then. <laughs> Better report him again then. All right. Keemstar then updates us on Ethan's response to all of this, which is blocking Keemstar. And then Ethan followed it up by doubling down, posting Britbong's video again and saying, Keemstar is literal human scum. Pass it on. And then Keemstar reacts to this by saying, I'm in disbelief. What a idiot. When this news came out, a couple other YouTubers had some stuff to say about it. Here is what Mudahar said on Augie RFC's stream. He wants to just paint some narrative, all right? He'll use whatever evidence is tossed towards his side to use against Keemstar. And the problem with it is, is that evidence, especially in this case, he's now platforming somebody who has done pretty fucking heinous shit. And it's almost like, you know... I, I don't believe that he doesn't know how bad this person is, personally. I, I have to believe that after He's all of the community now. message... Jeez. No, I, I believe he was He was warned back in May. Okay, here, he was thing. told, he was told, not just from me, but from like multiple other commentators, multiple other yep. large figures in the community. Now, whether he wanted to accept that or not because of associations or whether he truly believed that you know we were speaking of true intentions or whatever, I don't care. But like at the end of the day retweeting that i gotta agree with nick over here retweeting it and, and constantly pushing it now it seems as though it's in his mind in in his view it's trying to get that one up over keem but i mean yeah. this is not something yeah. you can let fly because this this is a very dangerous individual right it's like why are you now platforming a guy that has this much baggage and i personally can't believe that Ethan doesn't know this to an extent. He has to know. Like, he, he, we've told him, whether he chooses to believe it or not, is I mean, his like I said, I... Now, obviously, these allegations are very, very heavy. No matter how many YouTubers corroborate it, we just can't go around calling people a doxer, a false flagger, and someone who sends CP without actually having any evidence. Luckily, I have that for you today. Let's start off with the doxing. Here's a clip of Britbong talking about doxing Colossal's crazy. I'm not the one to dox people that I used to know, man, but still, you know, colossal, mate. I know everything about you. I know your dad's name. I know every one of your fucking family. I know your brother. I know where your brother lives. I know everything about you, mate. Mate, you know, I could do so much stuff. This was tweeted out by Keemstar back in May, and Ethan acknowledged it by replying and saying, So he did what you do? Got it. And then here's Britbong in a conversation with Colossal's Crazy, essentially admitting to the fact that he did dox Colossal, but Keemstar doxed him as well, and he's still friends with Keem, but not Britbong, pointing out a double standard. But then Clown replies, saying that the difference is that Keem never threatens his family. Okay, he's a doxer. Now let's look at the false flagging. Earlier in the video, we played the video of Britbong admitting that he false flagged Leafy this year. He then doubled down when he said a similar thing on his baby Britbong account. Now something you may have noticed throughout all of this is that a lot of these messages come from varying different Twitter accounts. And that's because Britbong is notorious for having a bunch of alternate accounts. He does this in order to aid in his Discord raids, help back himself up when he's in trouble, and more importantly, to evade any responsibility for his actions. Saying that there's a bunch of people trying to impersonate him, and they are doing all the fucked up shit while he's innocent. Unfortunately, he's not very good at hiding the fact that these alt accounts are in fact him. Such as when he goes into the comment section of Nicholas Diorio's video and talks about himself in the third person, pretending the account is not him, but forgets to switch off the account when he's streaming, and forgets to unlink his socials, on the account. We've already established that the baby Burt Bong account is most likely him, especially when you compare that account's threats of flagging Leapy with Brit Bong's stream of flagging Leapy. Oh, and by the way, look who I reported on Twitter. Oh, Leafy, what happened, mate? You got banned? Oh, kill yourself, kid. But on his current main Twitter account, Sit Down Simp, which we have confirmed is him through a Twitter video he made, he says that this account is one of his impersonation. Unfortunately, he forgot to remember that he previously used the Baby Breakbong account to make that same claim about other accounts. Recently, some impersonation accounts have been made of myself, Augie, and Nicholas Diorio. These accounts all happen to be created at the same time, all have very similar ats, with I's and L's being shifted around, all talking in a very similar way, specifically surrounding the word based, which seems to be a theme with all of these accounts, with simp being the second word of choice, also kind of falls in line with the theme of Mr. BTFO and all that type of more edgy internet language. 
I used to go by the name Britbong Returns, but at the moment I go by Mr. BTFO. Anyways, these impersonation accounts are claiming actions like false flagging Augie's YouTube account and threatening to swat Nicholas Diorio. These same threats were also made in a stream chat with names revolving around the word based, and coincidentally, in that same stream, this happened. <laughs> uh, who else is in here? Base pilled. Base pilled, you're on here. Hello, this is uh, Britbon, by the way. Oh, yeah. I'm going to call in. What's up, man? Ben. How are you? <laughs> hmm. The actual Britbon called in under a name revolving around Based in the same stream where the Based accounts with Britbon's profile picture made swatting threats to Nicholas Diorio around the same time that he made those same threats under the false Nicholas Diorio account that he created, which is remarkably similar to the impersonation accounts of me and Augie, one of which claiming to false DMCA Augie. Which actually happened, and guess what? The claimant has the same name as one of the accounts Britbong previously listed as impersonating him. And it's verified. And for those of you who don't know, verified accounts on Twitter have higher priority when reporting other accounts. And there's no way someone was able to get a six follower Twitter account verified without some shenanigans behind the scenes, which Britbong seems to be an expert in. But if this is a real figure of importance that I look up on Google and can't find anything non-Britbong related about, why would this newly verified user choose to interact with Dark Side Bill? Someone who would be more prominent within our community than whatever place Dominic Van or Khan is from. So there's no definitive proof that every single one of these accounts are from Britbong, but we do know that the quintessential based YouTube account is him, the base pilled guy on Discord, who called into the same Tommy C show where other based accounts in the comments were making threats, is Britbong. We know that Sit Down Simp is Britbong, and we know that Mr. BTFO Bot is Britbong, which coincidentally is the same Twitter account that was linked when a Discord account called Mr. BTFO sent CP to the underaged YouTuber Aiden Project. So needless to say, with all the circumstantial evidence, I personally find it hard to believe that all these accounts aren't Britbong, but to be fair, while a couple of the accounts are definitively him, the other ones just could be people who are willing to confess to criminal crimes in order to frame a YouTuber who nobody knows about anymore because Keem deplatformed him so many years ago and who already has a bad reputation in the community anyways. I don't know who would be crazy enough to do that, but hey, it's possible. Regardless, the fact that Ethan was warned about some, if not all, of the stuff Britbong has done from other big YouTubers, yet continues to paint him as a victim, just in order to make Keemstar look a little bit worse than he already does, is so irresponsible, and goes against everything Ethan has built up himself to be. Someone who has advocated for having good morals and fought a groundbreaking lawsuit for fair use on YouTube is now backing someone who sends false copyright strikes and is morally corrupt. This shit is fucking disappointing, and a lot of people agreed with me. Repsion, who is someone who hates Keemstar and Keemstar hates him, even quote tweeted Keem and said, Anyone who props up Britbong is batshit crazy. He is one of the most vile, destructive, toxic people I've ever seen. He raided my Discord and my Twitch stream over a year ago. With such nasty shit, I had to close down my stream and lock my Discord privately at one point. NeoMT responds to Keem by saying, Ethan is not dying on a hill. He is trying to die on top of Mount Everest, laughing my ass off. Keemstar quote tweets him and says, This. Edwin's generation responds to Ethan by saying, Most people draw the line at doxing, false flagging, and without a blink of an eye disavow child porn distribution. Not Ethan Klein. Ethan Klein promotes a person that does this multiple times because he hates Keemstar. All morals dip the fuck out. The quartering responds to H3 by saying, Holy shit, dude. You have no idea who you are dealing with. Guy posts CP, swats, doxes, and much more. Please stop. I'd give you the names publicly, but I want to keep it private. But this dude has terrorized huge creators. He then follows it up with a tweet on his own timeline that says, Dude, H3, stop. I know you hate Keem. The entire internet knows you hate Keem, but you are playing with fire here. James responds to him by saying, It's probably going to get worse for the rest of this community. Nicholas, Boblax, and Augie are probably in danger at this time. Oh, I definitely am after this video. 
but hopefully we can get justice again. The quartering responds to this by saying, the names of creators who are legit afraid of this dude would blow your mind. Ethan has zero fucking clue how many people he's fucking over. And I can corroborate this. A lot of big YouTubers know about this person behind the scenes, but haven't spoken out about him in hopes that he gets no attention and he can just fade into obscurity. Unfortunately, because of Ethan, that's not gonna happen for a while now. Anyways, Ethan responds to the quartering by blocking him. Mimalji101 says, H3H3 has lost it. 8thought says, has H3 lost it? His behavior is extremely strange. Augie says, Ethan Klein platform to hacker community reject who sends false flags and child porn to people. This is not a joke. Stay safe. Nicholas Diorio says, Britbong is now threatening to swap me, laughing my ass off. I want to make this perfectly clear, Mr. Bong. If you make the biggest mistake of your entire life, I will make one phone call and the police will be at your door. You'd have to be 62 IQ to think you'd be able to get away with that, laughing my ass off. Dead on Dave says, H3, anything to say now? This Britbong guy is doxing, deplatforming, and today, during Shot from the Point, the sick fuck sent CP to our on-air producer, Vault. You brought this guy onto the board. You weaponized him. Do you still not see the fallout from your nuke? Hashtag thank you H3. Brittany Venti says, I can't believe the CEO of YouTube is in the back pocket of someone who has defended a mentally ill pedophile that lies, harasses, spams his own stream in their comments and chat, he did it to me, and false reports people. Snitch Boy Productions TV says, Was this Britbong being impersonated when he threatened the Ralph retort and gave him 24 hours to apologize? He then shows a tweet from Britbong that says, You have 24 hours to retract this and apologize. And that was posted in response to Ethan Ralph saying, You are known to be a liar and a fraud. I'm sure anything you post would be in that same vein. No one cares about your lame blackmail, internet detective. Britbong on his current account then tweets out, Colossal's Crazy was threatened with doxing for being friends with me. And what did he do? He went to 8chan to post about me, and asked them to email him evidence on me. And he wonders why I despise him. You kids have no idea, and forgot he used to make trolling content. Colossal responds to this by saying, Ha 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 ha! This is deja vu. Or did I not catch you out in this lie already? Stop stalking me, you massive freak. It's been three years of non-stop bullocks coming from your snake mouth. All to desperately try to get my attention. Keep it up and I'll just go to the police. I don't give a shit. He then shows a screenshot of a conversation he had with him last May. I actually already read this in a previous Twitter versus, so I'm just gonna show footage from that instead of reading it again. Also, didn't Colossal's Crazy post on 8chan in a thread doxing and stalking me to ask if people wanted to email him dirt on me? I don't care about that anymore, but you know that has actual proof behind it. He even said he did it, but where's your proof? Hmm? Colossal's Crazy then responds with this screenshot of the tweet he would have posted if Twitter didn't have a character limit where he says, Trying to stay out of this shit, but you guys keep throwing me in. There's zero proof of me asking for information on you. Feel free to post the screenshot because I'm very, very confident that's not true. I left my email with the post to confirm my identity. That was it. Why would I ask for information on you on a forum with several hundred pages of information on you? Makes no sense. What did I need the information for? What would I have done with it? I haven't even replied to you in over two years. Is this the point you need to justify threatening my family? You can't justify it. I did nothing to you. You emailed me two years ago and we both agreed to let sleeping dogs lie and move the fuck on. I've stuck to that. You definitely haven't. Please start sticking to it. Brit Bong responds, I have no issue with you, but let's put it into perspective when I defended you when Keemstar threatened you years ago. Because you made fun of him, you forgave him pretty quick. Colossal responds, I've never tweeted out that clip, and that was the first time I've ever mentioned it in two years since you said it. I also agreed to let sleeping dogs lie, which still stands by the way. It's the same thing I did for Keem. You don't think that's pretty forgiving? After Colossal sent that reply, Brit Bong deleted his tweet. But that's about it for the video. After all of this, personally, my respect of H3 went down a lot, but I have no idea if you guys feel the same way. So I would love if you gave your thoughts down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe with notifications on. And follow me on Twitter to find out what I'm saying over there. Thank you so much to my channel members in particular, Sushi Joe, Forever Ghoul, The Dank Memes Play, Turtle, Big Black Nemesis, and A Zorich for $30 a month, Ruby Box Fox for $40 a month, and Boar for $50 a month. This helps me out immensely. I appreciate it a lot. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.